Dr. Heavily Kimes, welcome to the Reality Rundown. How are you? I'm doing wonderfully. How are you, sir? I'm so good. So happy that I'm talking to you today. Um, you are literally one of the Bravo celebrities that I've always wanted to talk to um, because I love you on the show. I love you on Married to Medicine. I think even from the beginning when you were first on the show and you know you were you were around we saw you in certain scenes but you weren't like a full cast member i remember you still like moving the storyline a little bit and i was like that person needs to be on the show and you know they added you on the show again and you've been a star ever since actually that first season i just came to an event i was not on the show at all i just came to the event and um that's when they got to fight me. And I was like, oh my Lord. And they kept giving me a lot of camera time. And I was like, why? I'm not getting paid. I'm not on the show. Right. And then the next uh, year, they reached out. They called my office, you know? Wow, that's amazing. And listen, it worked out in their favor because you are definitely one of the fan favorites of the show and someone that really moves the needle when it comes to the storylines and the things that need to be talked about and the things that are going on in the show. So I really do appreciate that. Um, you kind of spoke about this a little bit, but I wanted to know how did all of this get started? Like, who were you friends with at first? And, you know, what, how did you make that decision from being fr friends with one of the ladies and then actually being on the show? Um, actually, Damon and Eugene worked together. Damon actually was his, uh, his uh, I ain't gonna say boss, but he was the, uh, the director of the medical group and he hired Eugene on into the group to work in ER. He was a new doctor coming out of school. Damon was the young, one of the youngest uh, directors in, in Georgia at the Got time. It. And uh, he, hired, um, he hired Eugene. Met, met Toya because we, we do parties at our house, at our home, you know? So uh, Toya and Eugene came to the party. We got to know each other. Actually, and she reminded me of this not too terribly long ago. I tried to get her a job. Oh yeah? You know, funny, funny. Doing what? I tried to, try to offer a job doing insurance. I was, I, I had my real estate license and I had a mortgage company. So I did mm -hmm. financial services, real estate and, and, and uh, mortgages. And I was trying to get her on. Wow. And then from there, uh, some kind of way she knew Mariah because uh, they all, my, all our husbands kind of worked in the same group, not at the same okay. hospital, but in the same group. And Mariah was pitching a show. And uh, Toya, I guess, thought of me. And I remember I was in, I was in Italy or somewhere. She called me like in the middle of the night because we had a different time zone. And she said, hey, you want to do this show? You want to you know, do the pilot for this show? So that's how that happened. Initially, I turned it down. I had nine practices. I was like, the only thing I knew about reality TV was Nene Leaks. And okay. I was like, not saying anything bad, but I was thinking like, you know what? I know I'm kind of, you know, um, for lack of a better word, a strong personality. And okay. I said, no, nah, I don't think this would affect, you know, my business in a positive light. So I turned it down. But then the next year, they had over 2 million viewers. So my thought process is I'm a very intelligent person. Right. Because I got 20 percent. I got more than what I already had. So right. it didn't mean it didn't make a difference. I know everybody can't like everybody, you know, and I'm not for everybody. But I've been getting overwhelming support. And I appreciate yeah. I, I would definitely say that you have been getting overwhelming support. I think that that also translates from the fact that you seem very real when it comes to the way you react to things, the way you your relationships are with these women and the way that you hold everybody accountable. And even when you do things or say things that the women don't like, you're, you're just like you're just like me, like, you know, like. Okay, I said it. And like, at the end of the day, you know, like, I'm sorry about it. I, I'll i try not to say it again, or I'll try to do better. But we're all people and we're all growing. So that's honestly why I really connect with you. Because I love the fact that you're so open about always growing and always trying to be a better person. Yeah, I think that everybody has their their downfalls and the things they're working on. I think the difference between me is I don't lie about it. A lot of people will lie and say they didn't say things or that this didn't happen. And, you know, I, I don't try to recreate history. I just own it. Sometimes I say sorry because I feel like I should. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I say I'm sorry because I really mean it. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I, I can understand that. Talking about, you know, the earlier seasons of Married to Medicine, is there any cast member from the past that you, you know, you would love to, like, have around again? No. No, you feel like the cast right now is... I it's... think you got an amazing cast right now. I think some of the cast could go and we could bring in new blood. But for the most part, our cast is solid. I agree. I agree. This is such a random question, and I kind of want to get it out of the way now. But Carrie seemed to be around all the time. 
and she seemed to be mic'd. She seemed to be, you know, somewhat part of the show. We know, we know Carrie to be an OG of this show from season one, and then she got demoted, um, and then left. But like, what is Carrie's position when it comes to this group? Like, are are, are you are you even certain of her position in this group? Um, the interesting thing was Carrie was Toya's plus one. Okay. That was it. Um, Carrie was mic'd up for some reason or not. I think that this is a business and I think they probably do peer groups or whatever to determine who's valuable on the show and who's not for, or mm. some, there's some decision maker somewhere that decides, Hey, this person is a good fit for the cast. And this person is not, uh, unfortunately I think they deemed, uh, Carrie not a good fit cause she was at everything. You know what I mean? Right. She, was filmed, she sat down, she was in the group with us, but some kind of way, amazingly that they can change things. They can actually cut you out of a scene. And they did that several times with Carrie. Um, you know, so yeah, but but she was Toya's friend, and it was Toya's plus one, so she would always come with Toya. Got it, got it. Um, and you talked about the way that production is able to like cut things and cut people out of scenes. We did see that that little tussle between you and Carrie was cut out. What was that about? It was kind of a friendly, joking banter. She says, you know, Carrie's always, you know, joking and playing, and I kind of took it too far. And I was playing, too, at the time. And then I was like, oh, man, I took it too far when I mm -hmm. threw that drink on her. Me and her were joking or something. And I was like, Carrie, with your old ass or something, I said to her. <laughs> and she said to me, she her clapback was heavenly. We are the same age. Ooh. And that pissed me off. It made me mad. It made me hot. And I, don't, I know we're not the same age. I heavenly, I can with you. Friend. <laughs> I took that drink off and just like, bitch, I, I know you didn't try me like that. Okay? <laughs> so, it was funny. It was fun. She handled it very well. I have a lot of respect for Carrie Rells, and I, I actually like her. Okay, so it, do you think that Carrie will be coming back? Um, probably, Maybe in some capacity. Probably. Like if I invite her to a party, yes. As full cast, you, probably not. Do you think Toya is going to be inviting her back? No. Why not? You already know you're messy, and that's the problem right there, because you messy. I'm not messy. All I do is... How am I messy? Y'all being damn messy, and you already know the answer to your question. You just want me to say, you tell me why you think Carrie not going to be asked back with Tori. No, but... Why, wait, why do you think? Wait, but Dr. Heavenly, hold on. I'm not being messy as a journalist, because I did go to school for journalism. But you watch the show, and, and you and, know the blog. Right. So you already know the information. So I'm a journalist as well, and I'm putting that back on you. Why do you think that Toya is not going to invite her back? Well, I did hear that Toya... <laughs> You're so funny, Dr. Heavenly. I knew I, knew I was going to love this interview. I did hear that Toya and Carrie stopped talking to each other over the Anila stuff. So I wanted to get your perspective over, you know, what from... I wasn't there. I don't know what's happening. I'm a viewer, you know? So I'm asking you to tell our audience why, why did Toya and Carrie stop speaking? The same reason you think they stopped speaking. The same reason you just insinuated is why they stopped speaking. And you You're said not... it. I didn't. And uh, you already know. So I said. Okay. Right. No problem. That's I'm fine. No problem. Sure about this shit. Listen. No. No. And I'm not. And I'm not trying. Now I told y'all the truth. Go back. And I look respect at that. I've said the same thing. I, my story does not change. I do not waver. The story is the same. Um, let's talk a little bit about the reunion. What do you think about Dr. Scott's um, song performance? Um, y'all be fucking me up. You know why I get so hung up? Because I honestly try to tell the truth, and when I tell the truth, it comes. You out should true. always tell the I truth, though. Me, it comes out. You know what I mean? But that's why, and I'm gonna tell you this. That's why tomorrow I'm reviewing my Married to Medicine, the final episode of season nine with mm -hmm. Carlos King, because I want to hear his opinion. Do you think Dr. Heavenly should pull back? Do you think Dr. Heavenly is doing what so? He doing should dr heavenly remain to true to herself and speak the truth but the thing about it is these people are hurting for real and i did mm -hmm. not realize how badly right. they are going through it i i don't speak to toya i don't speak to contessa but i'm hearing that these things are really in real life messing mm -hmm. with them even though they put their lives out here for scrutiny and people mm -hmm. ask me questions all the time they say heavenly why is your marriage perfect? I think that when you do a show like this, there are things mm. you give up. 
My okay. marriage is not one of those things I'm willing to give up. So I okay. will never disrespect my husband on television. That's what I, and that's something I don't stand for. And the only reason I speak on it and I don't go off the subject is because it bothers me when other women do it. But that's their household. That's what they got to live with. Because at mm -hmm. the end of the day, the husband and wife going to be for each other, no matter how much it's disrespectful and ugly and distasteful and cringing that they do. Right. They out that shit. But right. you get me in my green screen and ask me a question, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to twist it and I'm going to be funny and I'm going to say what I think. Right. You know, let me be honest with you, Dr. Hanverley. I think that I don't see a problem with what you're doing on YouTube right. because the same person that you are on camera, the same person that you are in your confessionals is the same person that you're giving us in your own platform on YouTube. So it's not like in some way you're changing your opinions or you're changing who you are. I think that, you know, what I get from some of the women is that they feel like, okay, you can say whatever you want to say and react however you want to react during a confessional for the show while the producers are asking you, but why go the extra mile and do your own thing? But it's also like, why don't you do it? You know what I'm but saying? The like, interesting thing is, I don't say what the producers want me to say. Sometimes the producers bring things up and I'll say it if I want to. But mm. I don't ever, the stick that I say in my confessionals, unlike maybe some other people, is mm. my shit. That's what, and even when they try to say, hey, heavenly, dude, that's not what I would say or how I would say it, white, okay. you know, white person. I'm going to say it like I say it. So right. I'm, I'm actually the same person. But my dilemma is, and this is what I'm going to talk to Carlos King about, is that these people are really hurting. No, no, don't get me wrong. Everybody talks about everybody, but mm -hmm. everybody is affected in a different way based on okay. whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can go through uh, my mother dying and stuff like that and still keep keep a good face. Mm -hmm. But if they're having problems in their marriage, finances, their husbands ain't coming home at night, they mm -hmm. upset and they looking for somebody to take their anger out on and it ain't the spouse. Right. So right. that's where I feel like I got. You know what I'm saying? Well, like I told you that day we met um, be, um, backstage. I don't think you should change. Excuse me. I don't think I you think should change. If I do change, it'll be a lesser performance on the show. I think that it would be to, to the detriment of the show if I change. Not that I'm the show. It's an ensemble cast. No, However, absolutely. I think that my shade, my laughter, my jokes, my serious is needed. I agree. I think that, you know, you make me laugh. You make me, you know, feel emotions when you're on screen. I do agree. If you start toning yourself down for the sake of keeping these friendships and not even for the sake of keeping these friendships, but for the sake of these women being okay with your performance, I think that in a way is going to be detrimental to the show itself. Right, and be paying me and thanking me for the checks because damn, they damn show sure need it. They damn show sure need these damn checks. So if I stop doing it and the checks stop running, then you're going to be mad for real. So who do you think? Who do you, you think already it? know? You no, already no, know. Wait, you hold on. To me. No, no. You already know. Let me get your name again. Let me get your name because you really messing me up. What's your name? Wellington. Wellington. Remember that name, Heavenly. I got it now. Wellington. Okay. Listen, you already know who I'm going to say. You already know who you think. It Don't ask me nothing that you already know the answer to. I will ask Toya, Quad, or anybody that I interview the same question. Who's not earning their check? Who's not earning their check? Or who yes. needs to check the most? Those we two can, different questions. You can answer both. But first question is, who's not earning their check? I think that this show is an ensemble cast and everybody brings something very different to the show. Some more than Thank others. You. But um, some more than others. Okay. But uh, I think everybody does something. Okay. I can I can take that. You know, not messy. Not messy. Now, who needs the check? We all need our checks. Not messy. Uh-uh. And then listen, no. I get messed up. I just learn from y'all. Listen, some need the checks more than others. Some people's lifestyles won't be changed at all without this okay. check. I eat me, my man working. Period. But some people, without this check, they're lost. And they've designed their life around this check that could end tomorrow. And I ain't saying no names. Listen, okay. I won't, I won't, I won't keep. Asking you no, 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 to well, do your job. I'm just I'm just <laughs> no, no, I know. No, I know. Dr. Heavenly. I might, but the day I ain't. I'm s i am just want you to know how like excited I am to be talking to you You're right so now because I'm one of your biggest fans, and this is like truly like amazing for me. Thank um you. let's talk, let's keep talking about the reunion a little bit. 
do you think Anila knew what she was doing when she brought that friend over with that information about Toya? Yes. Absolutely. She knew. I knew. Quad knew. We knew. So why I, did she... I? What I'm saying is, when that girl walked in, we had already had dinner with that girl off camera, right? And she said what she said. We. we I, I brought my daughter. I did not know. I don't know who brought this girl to the table. I'm assuming, and I hate to assume things. It's Anila because she stays in Anila's neighborhood, right? I'm assuming. That. We all right. went to dinner. There were two young women that came to that dinner. Zayna and another girl. I'm not gonna say her name because she's not on the show. Got it. They came in there with a purpose to tell all of Quad's business, and they had facts. They were talking to the builders. They were talking to the people. They had explicit details, right? So they had receipts. They had explicit details. They, they, it wasn't like somebody said. They were saying this person, that person. You could talk okay. to this person, and this okay. person, and she did this to me, and she did this to me. So yes, in a, in a sense, they had receipts. I take everything with a grain of salt, right? Mm -hmm. But we had all discussed it on, on the phone. So mm -hmm. all of us knew about the rumors, right? Mm -hmm. right? Right? So when the girl walked in, I didn't know she was coming. I don't think. Because when I saw her, I was like, oh, y'all bringing some shit. Because I even told Jackie, this is the girl that was at the thing. Right. So I felt like, honestly, and I know people think I was being messy. And fucking Dineva said I should have took her to the bathroom. But my thought process was, I don't see the scenes. I don't see the scenes that I'm not in. Right. I felt like they probably already had talked about it on TV. Mm -hmm. That's why they brought her to, to confront Toya. So when, she, when I saw the girls sit down in the group, when we sit down in the group, that's mm -hmm. when the mess starts. And that's when we bring the BS up. Right. I said, Toya, let me tell you what's going on. So you're not second and winded. There's people over here saying this and they saying it on camera. Right. But I might be a messy bitch, and I, 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 you know, and I talk about Tori, I do, but I talk about everybody, right? But you talk about everybody. Marriage and family, right. right? You're not gonna tell, even if she was, even if she was, I don't know, and nobody knows. But we're not gonna sit up on TV and say a married woman is cheating. I'm never for that. I don't care who couch I'm sitting on. I don't care what's going on. You tearing up life. Now the men, a lot of times the women will forgive them. Mm -hmm. The men usually, usually now Eugenia different can, but. Usually, mm -hmm. the men don't forgive. They gone. Your okay. ass whipped. You know what I mean? Uh, something. That's that's like, that's right. horrible. Right. So I wasn't with that shit at all. So I actually like that you mentioned that because, again, as one of your fans and as a fan of the show, I completely felt like you were being a real friend to Toya when you turned to her and said, they're bringing on this girl to talk about this. When Toya got mad at you, for I, she got mad at me, she got mad at them. She said she was gonna take her shoe off and put it in the effing neck. Yeah, but then we saw later on that she said that she felt like you were messy for even telling her in that moment oh, as she well. Said, I didn't see that, baby. I missed that point. I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not trying it. to create any mess, but no, she no, no, did feel I, I just don't watch the show because I found lately if I review the show right after watching it, mm -hmm. I'm more a meaner. You know what I'm saying? Mm, so I would more... address that. You know what I'm saying? It, I know what it. happened, so I review the show based on my memory of what's happening. But if I see somebody call me an asshole on green screen, mm -hmm. I'm going to lay into their ass on the YouTube. And then four or five years later, when they bring the bitch back, right. it's going to look like heavily just mean. Right. No. So I, I, I have chilled from looking at it. And a lot of people say, hey, heavily, why even keep the YouTube going? I like doing it. No other reason. Right. I, like doing, I like doing the show, the confessionals, whatever. And I will guarantee you this. And if you find some receipts on this, I will recant everything I'm saying. Okay. I never mention anything that's not mentioned on TV. I know a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. I've never brought anything to the table that was not already mentioned on this show that right. I can think of. Right. I mean, you haven't brought anything on here that is, has not been mentioned, mm -hmm. so not I believe not you. I just wanted to say that because I did feel like you were being a good friend um, by telling her that this lady was, you know, had this information and was ready to talk about it. And we are sitting, it, we are sitting around cameras and we are about to film this scene. So I thought that that was very nice of you to say that, even though it wasn't Thank taken you. that way. Um, why did you, why do you think some of the women felt like Anila was making up the story about the robbery? I don't think they thought that. I don't think they thought that. I so think what that was the... was, I think that that was, and I'm trying to be careful here because I know insinuating anything is really, really wrong. I think that there was reason to believe what she thought based on 
things that were not brought to the show and things that were. There was reason to believe not solid evidence. That's mm. why it's very important that if you're going to say somebody cheated or if you say somebody uh, broke into your house, you need solid facts. Mm -hmm. But if that was you and the people came with all of this information, mm -hmm. they can't be proven. It, 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 you know, some people are easily led, you know, mm -hmm. it, it ain't like it's too far to believe after Anila got her ass whipped at Quad's house by one of Toya's friends. And then we hear that there's a hit out. And it happens after we heard it. When you say Anila got her ass whooped at Quad's house, someone put their hands on Anila? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, have you been in communication with her after? Because we did see that she Anila? had, because uh, uh, she did Anila, because she did. We did see that she had other robberies, uh, like yes, that yes, happened. I Anila quite often. I talk okay. To her often, yes. That's good. And how is she doing? I she's good. She's good. She's good. A lot of people asked her why she would move, but it, the interesting thing about that whole situation is she, it's a gated community. Uh -huh. It's very safe. Now, the first time she had no cameras, but she said on for, for, for social media she did because she didn't want people to think she didn't. It was a newly built home, and you get a false sense of security mm -hmm. when you're in a gated community where you got to show your ID to come in. So, you know, a lot of times in those kind of communities, they leave their doors open. They mm -hmm. think it's safe, and it's yeah. not. It's yeah. a false sense of security. And being that she got robbed a second time, it has to be somebody that is directly targeting her. So right. even she moved, and I made a joke just like the demons with Toya. The demons gonna find you wherever you at. So even mm -hmm. if you move, I think the key to it is get you a gate if you can. I got an electric gate out there, cameras everywhere, and five dogs. Right. If the dogs don't attack you, damn it, I'm gonna shoot your ass because I'm gonna damn sure know you out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you need protection. Yeah. You can't take this shit lightly. You can't. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree with you. Um, and I think that it's interesting that you say that um, Anila said that there was cameras because she didn't want people to think that she didn't have any cameras. Um, why? I feel like sometimes Anila gets caught up in things of like not wanting the viewers or everybody else to think that she is she doesn't have these things. Like, why is that? Why is it that she's always like having to recant her story because she feels like, you know, she we catch her on her own things like things that she says and then it's like you said this differently um I have agree, you given her any advice one. she's not the only one she's not she's the only not the, one everybody not is not honestly i swear for jesus i really do try to tell the truth now of course mm. i have joking lies like i have sex every night and right. oh, my marriage is perfect that's <laughs> a joke hopefully you you smart enough to get that's a joke however right. i really try not to lie because i don't remember and i honestly feel like i ain't got to lie to you i don't I don't have right. to lie. I might lie right. to my man by something for argument's sake, but on this show, I don't really got what you. I mean, the girl tried to whip my ass, but still, I'm still gonna tell the truth. Why, girl? You know already. You already know why you asking questions. You already know the answer too. Wellington. Uh, Doctor Heavenly. You're my friend. Um, Wellington. You're my friend. Uh, you are my friend. Like I really believe that. So, um, I'm glad you say that. Um, I think that your relationship with Doctor Simone has definitely. It's been a roller coaster. It's gone up. It has gone down. Um, where do you stand with Dr. Simone today? I said this from the very beginning. I always have and always will have a special place in my heart for Simone. Simone mm. and I are better now, but mm. I, I never lie. She a flip flopper. You don't ever know which way she don't go. And she don't go with the truth. She goes based on who the person is. I don't have a couch. I'm mm. going to tell you the truth, whether you are sitting over here or you're sitting over there. That's not her philosophy. I think that if she feels like Toy is her friend, she's going to really take up the, for Toy, even if she's lying. Same mm -hmm. thing with the other girl. Me, I'm going to tell you the truth. If you tell me you made $500,000 selling some damn furniture, I'm going to sit up here and say, you're my friend, girl. You really are, and I love you. But, bitch, I got way more followers than you, and I know I ain't never made that kind of money on social media. So, bitch, I... One plus one is two, and I'm a business, money, and relationship expert. Bitch, you're not going to tell me that. You're not going to insult my intelligence with that one. Right. So, and, the, and the viewers. That's and the viewers feel. But that's what I get fucked up at because they saying because you're my friend, you shouldn't have told the truth. And so, that's why I get confused. Like, so, should I lie? 
No, you know what I think you should do, Dr. Heavenly? I think that next season, when you plan some of your events, instead of planning these events around the couples, I do, I do, you, don't get me wrong. I know that this show is heavily based on the fact that you guys are couples, but also you, you need to plan a define the friendship event where you guys all sit in a room and define what friendship with me means. Because I feel like, I don't personally think that what you're doing is shady or not being friendly, but some other people in your cast feel like, you know, because you're my friend, you shouldn't be doing this. So sorry, sorry, my phone. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think that that would be a, a good exercise for you guys to all play in the sense of like, let's define our relationships with each other and some do's and don'ts because I mean, they're not going to keep But the interesting thing is, and you know, and, 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 you know, and maybe myself included, mm -hmm. people forget what they've done to you, mm. but they remember what you've done to them or how you made them feel or what you're saying. And I will say this over and over you, Ellington, sometimes it's not what you say. It's, it's also how you say, how you say it. Mm -hmm. And it's also who is saying it. So if a bitch like me who has a good husband that works, that has mm -hmm. a rewarding career, that's probably one of the most successful people on the show, if not the most, if she, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If she says something, you're going to feel some kind of way if you don't have that and you don't have, right. a, you, know, you don't have the kids and your man don't come home at night or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I say things, I'm not necessarily, sometimes I am directing it to you, but mm -hmm. when I say certain things, it's making you feel some kind of way and that's your insecurity, not mine. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I com I completely agree with that, and I think that's that's just not part of your show. That's part of friendships in general, absolutely, like in absolutely. in the and world. That certain people you can never be friends with. You know, what I'm saying? like I have old friends from over time, and I'm not better than anybody. And granted, nobody's better than me. But mm -hmm. if you go back to some of them old friendships, it's a different mindset. You know what I mean? And it just doesn't mesh anymore. It does. It does not mesh anymore. I completely agree with you. Um. This was something that came from some of our viewers of our brand. Do you think that the other ladies are out to point out flaws between you and Dr. Damon to kind of like make it seem like you guys are having issues? Because I feel like that's a constant Yes, yes. I, and I'm going to speak on this. And I probably said I wasn't going to say this bitch name, but I ain't going to say her name. But I saw a vlog that uh, Dr. Contessa did uh, with mm. Funky Dineva. And she brought up something to the limb that heavenly wishes her man would cook. And I thought about it, you know, I'm trying to think of it like, and I said, I don't give a damn if my man cook or not. And I asked Jackie, I said, Jackie, did I ever insinuate that I, I wanted my man to cook? She said, heavenly, you were uplifting her. You were saying at least he cook. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. the conversations is trying to li uplift somebody. But if I had to be jealous of anybody husband cooking, it would be Dr. Eugene. That man could cook his ass. Right. I was just question. about to say. Ask me a question about if I'd rather good, can I say dick? Good you can say whatever you want. Or a good meal. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 Between I, a good I, meal and good peen? But I, I'm hungry. Maybe because, you know what I mean? I get all the time. Uh -huh. I'm hungry. I'm trying to keep my weight, maintain. I'm hungry. If you had some dick over here and a saucy sandwich over here, I might go eat the saucy sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> Listen. That's just me. And do you think that's what's keeping some of these relationships alive? Good sex? For Contessa, yes. Okay. I think they have amazing. That's what she used to always say. I mean, they don't get along no other kind. We of, see that's what get me in trouble. I got answers to the questions, and I be damn truthful. But good thing ain't worth all the problems. It ain't. It ain't. You it ain't. Got to come home, baby. Got to pay the bills, daddy. Right. Got to right. make me feel like you got to respect me. You can't disrespect me. I cannot stand dysfunction in any relationship. I mm. can't stand toxicity. Now you can say that with these girls because I'm playing. I'm playing with the cameras. Mm -hmm. But in real relationships, when I had with Jackie, you think it's toxic? Because if I got a problem with a bitch, I'm coming straight to her like, listen, I don't like what you said. Right. And my man, I got a problem with man, I'm telling them, listen. And it's very ironic or kind of sad for them to believe that everybody marriage fucked up just because theirs is. There's some good marriages out there, but I try to sift through what the bitch said. Like, okay, twinning. And, 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 and she didn't say, she said a twin bed Mm -hmm. Twin bed relationship. I'm trying to think. Me and Damon do do things separately. His business is separate from mine. I do not interact in his business. I very rarely go over there because I know that me and him 
think differently when it comes to business. Now he's right. successful in his own right. I'm successful, but when we come home, it's magical. So right. if you want to try to minutia and try to make something out of nothing, that's what you're trying to do. Because in the real life, you know, you know, no matter what you're saying on this show and what you're saying in Funky Dineva, you know the truth. That's why why right. can I be mad, bitch? The shit I said is nothing but the truth. And I think the truth hurts so bad. And that's the problem. Should I lie, Wellington? You shouldn't or should lie. I continue to say the truth. You shouldn't lie. I say something, or it ain't no damn show. You, sh you shouldn't lie. You should always continue to say your truth. Now I have a question for you. Have you called Dr. Contessa and said, let's put, let's put all of this to rest. Like, how do we, how do we fix when this? When it first happened, I texted her. I said, bitch, I'm sorry. If I ever hurt you, I am so sorry. I said, don't do this. No, we need, our friendship is too good for this. She said, now we were never friends. So which one is the truth? Cause right. she said too, she said, I'm sorry too heavily. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm wrong in this as well, right? Mm -hmm. But then the next scene you go in and you say, no, this happened exactly the way I wanted it to. I'm confused. And I right. know it's a difference between camera and whatever, but I think our show is built on realness, not fakeness. So if you really feel that right. way, do it on both ends, because that's what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? When Simone right. says she got a problem with me, she really got a problem with me. Quad mm -hmm. got a problem with me, it's real. Yo, shit mm -hmm. is fake, phony, and fraudulent, and I can't take the dysfunction because I love myself too much. Do you think there's a pathway for some reconstruction of some sort I of that friendship? That I do not dislike Contessa. I do not okay. dislike her. I don't like, well, she, that's, I don't like her. I don't like the things that she does and the way she does things. I can mm -hmm. be amicable, but I don't okay. think our friendship would ever be the same because I don't trust the bitch. Come on now. Does that make you sad though? Friendship, huh? Does that make you sad though? Because you guys it were does, but I'm kind of over it now. Because okay. I said, I don't know if they showed it on the show, but when my mom died, Quad gave mm. me a book about death, right? And mm -hmm. the first part of it is you're in denial. Because I thought that, you know, no, nah, because this is my friend, Jackie. This mm -hmm. would never happen. She would never do this. I was wrong. The second part is anger, cursing your ass out, because that's what happened. Then it comes to the point where you believe it. And you kind of deal with it and you learn to live with it and it's dead to you. Right. I'm at the point where it's gone. Ain't nothing I mean, but savage. I mean, if that's I how you feel. I can respect you that's... in the same room. You will not disrespect my husband when he's done nothing to you. When you can't talk mm -hmm. to the man, that's really the issue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a problem with it every time. But I'm not going to give her much more. I mean, I think she wrote me the whole season. I really do. And I gave it to her. But it's not mm -hmm. going to be next season. It will not be the same. I will ignore I will squash and I will avoid. Cause You're I'm gonna not gonna ride me by some bull fake shit. You're not. I was waiting for you guys um to be called to squash that beef during BravoCon, but <laughs> it didn't happen. Um while we That's were she was playing a role again. She threw her <laughs> phone out there. I picked it up and went shit on it. She said, No, I got the text messages. Ain't nothing on it. She even did that at the reunion. She said, I got a voicemail with Dr. Jackie on it saying this and that other. Andy said, can we play the voicemail, Jackie? Jackie said, yeah, because I know I ain't saying shit. The voicemail said exactly what fuck I said. And they, I don't even think they played it because it was stupid. Like, dude, what they, they didn't. They didn't. Um, on a scale from one to ten, how genuine is the relationship between Quad and Anila? I think that on this show, mm -hmm. in general, I'm, I'm trying to give you an honest answer without fucking up the thing. I'm trying to no. think before I speak like Dr. Damon does. Listen, you slide I don't do that. <laughs> um, if you give me a number, you ask me for a number, I'm going to say a five. A five. Yeah. Okay. Who would you say Anila has a solid relationship with this cast? I'd say me. You. You only? Yes. Got it. Um, and we're gonna get a little shady right now. Okay, let's do it. It's about time. It's, it's 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 thirty four minutes. Yeah, in. we're about to we're about to get a little shady. Okay. Why do you think Toya said that she feels lonely in her marriage? 
that was the first time I ever, ever ever heard that. You know what I'm saying? And that almost mm -hmm. made me feel sorry for Toy because Toy Talk can't shit now. I don't know what they're showing mm -hmm. and what they're not. And I don't understand why everybody's sympathizing with her because I don't get it. Toya mm -hmm. has everything, right? She has a wonderful husband, right. beautiful children. She's rich. I mean, she's rich, but them, them the issues she making for herself. She really mm -hmm. got a beautiful life, actually. Right, right. When you say you lonely, there's a song about that. I can't be in two places at one time. If you think you're lonely now, wait until the night, girl. You know what I'm saying? You want me to all this shit? I got to work. You want me to be work? I can't be in two places at one time. That's why I used to talk up for Eugene all the time. But shit, after you see episode, episode three of you, you don't need me to talk up for him no more. I did not like that part. I did not. You didn't like the fact that Eugene and Quad went at it? Mm -mm. Why not? My soul. I mean, they played it like he was defending himself. But you mm -hmm. got to be honest. Eugene was in, in Neela's DMs talking about me and Quad in the DMs. So they came. Um, if you're watching off camera, uh, Eugene is in the mess. He's in the minutiae and the mess with the women. Mm -hmm. So you can't really be mad at Quad for signing off because, yeah, you could say the little Jones that they did show on the show were not that serious with Quad. Mm -hmm. But the other stuff is her. And at the bottom line, and this is what I'm realizing, this is how I'm growing. Everybody's hurting. Mm -hmm. She might not admit that she there are certain things in her life she would change. Mm -hmm. Just like Eugene and Toya won't admit of the issues they've made for themselves that they would change. So he's hurting. Mm -hmm. She's hurting. And you really, I, I, you can't, I mean, you could judge based on who you like and what personality you like. Mm -hmm. But both people are hurting. However, I feel like if this with the women, leave it with the women. Toy is more than capable. And I get what he's saying. It's like when you talk about my finances, you're talking about both of us. Right. But it's a show that's just like me saying something about let the men talk to the men. Right. That's just me. Now, I know everybody ain't going to agree with it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to say, Quiet didn't have a man to talk to. Contessa had a man to talk to when you called him the definition of a big ass bitch, but you didn't talk to him. So why are you talking to her now? And I get that you hurt. Everybody hurt. I get mm -hmm. that you're lonely. I get that you're having problems. I get all that. I get it. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's in the situation, just like with Dr. Contessa, you mad at the wrong person. That's my thought. I swear right. to God, I think you mad at the wrong person. You mad at this girl over here for saying your penis was small and your testosterone was low and all of this. You know what I'm saying? So mm. rather than take it out on her, which you probably already have behind closed doors. Right. Now you're going over and beyond. And I don't even think they probably going to show everything because it really got bad. Between her, him and, and Quad? In my opinion, yes. Um, do you think that Eugene, Dr. Eugene feels somewhat comfortable doing that towards squad because she doesn't have someone sitting behind her I, to protect her yes, that's what i said and i'm gonna stand on i'm one of quad that's what i said i said what i said and i'm gonna stand on what i'm saying and that's yes. why he and that's why he I didn't said way more than quad has i, I was gonna I say have. why didn't he give you the same energy because i got a man and not saying that damien can beat everybody ass or anybody scared of him i'm saying that if 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 gregory lungsford was standing, it's something about a woman that has a man Mm -hmm. A woman without a man, and I know what y'all gonna eat my ass up, is an unprotected woman. You need to have somebody, your brother, somebody, because if you, it, and I ain't taking up for Quad Quad's my friend, but I right. really like Eugene. I've always said that, and I know that man is hurting. I know he is, but you taking your frustration out on the wrong one. All of us talk about Toya because Toya talks cash shit, and right. she always has. And I don't know what they're showing, but don't get mad at her or me or the. But I've said more than most. Contessa called them refugees. Did he come at her and say, you know what? That's awful. No. Right. So why come at this bitch? That's all I'm saying. That's all I gotta say. I know y'all probably not gonna agree because a lot of people feel like the gender roles ain't nothing. It's something to the gender roles. For example, I'm gonna give you this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up, right? Because I know I'm talking a lot. Wrong. For example, if you're in a medical office, right, mm -hmm. and a person takes off their shirt, right, mm -hmm. and you touch on them the way the Contessa did that man, it was totally acceptable because it was a man. Imagine if a female took off her shirt and a male doctor did that and talking about oh, and all of that. You know what I'm saying? It's double standards whether y'all want to admit it or not. Yeah, and I agree. I agree with that. With that. With that point, I do agree with that point. This question came from me researching the web preparing for this interview and um 
Do you believe that during the season there was an agenda to take down Toya? No. Absolutely. I think it was an agenda to take down Dr. Heavenly. I think that whole oh, yeah? push was to take down Dr. Toya. No. Toya brings that shit on herself. That's my opinion, and I'm going to stand on it. Toya talks cash shit. We didn't know. Now, I'm going to tell you, just like I feel about Simone, there will always be a special place in my heart with Toya. Toya mm. is not a bad person. I think that Toy is trying to keep up with the Joneses or the Kimeses or somebody. But not the Kimes. Not <laughs> but my whole thing is, if you talk shit, people going to talk shit back and it ain't wrong. And because right. you're going through something that we didn't know about, right. you cannot now play the victim. You can't. Last year was the whole Corona thing why she acted an ass. Now it's like, okay, you're doing the same stuff, but I don't know what they're showing. So now everybody like, okay, Toya, because they feel for her because she she overstepped her bounds with Bill's hair. Everybody done did mm -hmm. that, but we can talk about it. Right. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's all about who you relate to and who you like because people defend me when I know I'm wrong. Now, this is a follow-up question to that, to that kind of extent. Do mm -hmm. you believe there was an agenda to take out Mariah from the show? I think Mariah took herself out the show. Interesting. That's my honest answer. I think that she took it behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Interesting. Absolutely. I think, right. yeah. Yeah. Do you think that Anila has a has a place in this group moving forward? Um, when it comes I to I think that Anila's gonna have a difficult time winning in this group. Winning in this winning group. Winning in this group. I think that it will always be her credibility is on the floor. Not only that, I think that. We gonna all. I, I think that people gonna always play the race card because I felt like it was no place to put in a race card with that, but it's there. You cannot accuse African American uh, professional people of breaking in your house if you don't have hard facts. Absolutely Even though she not. She had her reasons. She got to get that. You can't certain shit. You can't do it. That's I just, that's just, a lot of shit. Yeah, that's why but... I would not be on a white show and or I don't review the white shows because I know I'm gonna say the wrong shit. Right. No, that's that's just absolutely not acceptable. And I'm glad that you even mentioned that because you can't do that to professional people in general, especially black people. So no. Um, when you said that Dr. Scott was I'm I'm getting messy. When you said that Dr. Scott was being abusive, what did you mean? Because I, I know you said he was abusive. Somebody asked me a question on my blog, was he mm. abusive? And I said, Well, you could equate emotionally and verbally because mm. we saw it on TV. Contessa was crying, she would not speak. There were several scenes that she walked away from where she was talking big stuff, but when he came in, she was like, I'm sorry, crying. Mm -hmm. So emotionally. And I, and I probably shouldn't say this anymore, but I'm standing on what I said. I never lied. And no, it was yeah. never a malicious intent. I swear to God. Right. I was defending the fact they were saying physical. And I don't think there is. I mean, hell, I don't know. But I do right. know that the bitch can bench 350 and got the size 11 shoes and went to the military and whipped the shit out of all of us. That's my thought. Right. So, um, emotion, so uh, 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 abuse like physical? No. No, absolutely not. You but were just games? That's the way they made it seem on the show with not mm -hmm. having the life coach guy there and then not paying her. Then it was a man. I didn't have one. You know what I'm saying? All that. To me, that was. It was. They were signed. I don't know what you want to call it. Got it. I mean, you you were giving your opinion. Um, Do you think that. No, Toya... facts. But go ahead. Okay. You were you were giving your facts. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Toya is happy with Eugene? No. Absolutely not. Got it. Um, we've seen a trend of sometimes at every reunion, it was, it was first Jackie, then it was Simone, then it was Contessa. Um, this reunion, we, we really didn't see like a lot of marital issues, which I was happy because I don't, I don't, I actually do not enjoy when the Me reunions either. take a turn and it, and, and, and the marriage starts to, to destroy uh, as we're watching it. Um, however, since that's been like the trend of who has the better marriage, do you think that there is um which couple is next on the we're having problems? I think that you can never tell. Um, I I hope that all the marriages and you know, I, I know I do joke and I laugh and I'm messy, but mm -hmm. one thing you can't say about that heavenly is that she's not for family. I hope that everybody's marriage holds up. I wish only the best for them. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like if you're on TV, the first rule of marriage is not to put your man down. Right. That's the first rule. And if you're doing it, shut fuck up about it. Stop doing it. 
Right. And so I'm giving the same advice to everybody. Simone took it. It worked. Contessa took it. Didn't want to get got mad at me for giving it to her. I'm still telling Toya, stop. She's, you know what I mean? As far as last episode season, mm -hmm. it's yeah. still going on. Stop it. Stop. Um, are the Golden Girls really back together? The Golden Girls are really back together. They are. Now, you know, I you know, I love Jackie. She's my girl. Simone, uh -huh. I told you I always have a special place in my heart. So I got a feel for Simone. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's you know, but mm -hmm. but the love Who's closer, Jackie. Simone or Jackie or you or Jackie? Me and Jackie for sure. You or Jackie for sure. For sure, for sure. Um describe this season to me in one word. Confusing. Confusing. And are you happy with the way the reunion ended? Or do you think that was there more solution or was there more mess created? I think with Contessa and I, we came to a wit's end and we both agreed to disagree mm -hmm. that, you know, we just not friends. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Um, I, You know, I can't say that I, I thought that everything went well. You know, it was chaotic. It, mm -hmm. I could be a better word with the other boy used, the other little boy. But um, it is what it is. It was entertaining. It was a great show. We had great ratings this season. And yeah, you the guys really accomplished, did. if you will. You guys really did. Um, do you know anything about any new... Like, I knew Married to Mar I knew we had Married to Marys in LA. Like, are any other uh, of others Married to Marys popping up? Like, what is happening? Now, they tried Miami. They tried Houston or Dallas, somewhere in Texas, Houston. They tried mm -hmm. LA. <clears throat> they were going with DMV. I think the key to a job is being drama free. I think that because they're doctors, a lot of people feel like they can ask for this and the other. This is a job just like anything else. If you came to me with all kind of credentials and you ask it for all kind of money, but mm -hmm. you want all kind of, it, it just ain't gonna work. So it's very mm -hmm. difficult to find people to cast. in particular cast. Yes. I agree. I think it's easier to cast other shows. I think this one is more difficult because everybody can't be Dr. Jackie. Everybody's right. not Dr. Jackie. You cannot come in and be Dr. Jackie. Um, mm -hmm. and, and is there is there something wrong with a Dr. Jackie? No, I'm saying that she is the epitome of what professionalism is. If right. you're a working physician, you don't want um to be trained anything other than you know what I'm saying. Right. And I think right. that people great. And honestly, I think it's being a dentist is helping me because I don't think I'm held as as high of a standard as mm -hmm. a physician, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And um, it can hurt your practice, I think. Got it. Well, Dr. Hanvali, I am so happy that you got put some time in your schedule to talk to me today. Like I said, I am one of your biggest fans. My brand is one of your biggest fans. And I am truly, truly happy that you talked to me today. Um, thank you so much. Don't change. I don't want you to change because I am... Ugly. It's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's ugly. It's so ugly, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't change, Dr. Heavenly. I enjoy you. We enjoy you. And I love Married to Medicine the way it is. I don't want it to change. So okay. thank you so much for talking to us. And guys, make sure to subscribe. Dr. Heavenly, where can they find you? Plug everything. I love what your businesses. I love that you use your platform to promote your businesses. So let us know everything, Dr. Heavenly. Uh, Y'all know it's mine by Dr. Heavenly. I got you 22 years experience. Heavenly beauty. Got the hair. I don't got no experience, but it's the same damn hair everybody got. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Dr. Heavenly University, I'm starting a mastermind coaching. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how I'm going to roll it out yet, but it's coming soon. Okay. Uh, and uh, make sure you follow me on all platforms, Dr. Heavenly, DR underscore Heavenly on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all of that. And yes, it is monetized, but I think you a damn fool not to monetize yours. I agree. Thank you so much, Dr. Heavenly. Thank you, baby. See you later.